Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to remove cabinet doors fast and easy. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. So as you can see, this is a kitchen cabinet door. And when most people want to remove a cabinet door, they'll oftentimes unscrew these parts here or this part over here. And you know, that works obviously, but that takes a while. I'm gonna show you a faster and easier way to do it. One that usually doesn't even require a screwdriver or any tool at all. Now, most likely if your cabinet door has a relatively modern hinge, it's gonna have a release mechanism in it. So what you're looking for is a lever of some sort or a button of some sort or something that moves that will allow you to pull off the cabinet door hinge easily. And this allows you to pull off the cabinet door and put it back in place without making any adjustments. So you don't have to worry about adjusting any screws afterwards because the hinge stays identical when you use this method, okay? Now in this cabinet door, it's actually right over here. So I'm gonna zoom in, okay? Because I don't have a helping hand right now. It's just me and my camera. So I'm gonna zoom in. You can see that little notch right there, right? That little piece right there. What happens when I push that in, okay? When I, swell, when I sort of push it in this way over here is I actually release the entire hinge and then I can just click it back in place just like that, okay? And now the door is perfectly fine once again. So basically I can use this little lever to release the hinge and then I can put it back in place when I'm done and then the door works fine. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to actually remove the door with a little bit of an extra step. So there are two hinges in the door. There's one down there and there's one up there. I'm gonna allow you to see the one down here, um, but really I'm gonna be removing this hinge using that lever and then removing the hinge right there as well using that same lever mechanism. But I'll show you this one right here and um, I think I can reach it as far as I know. Yes, I can reach it. So what I like to do is I like to remove the bottom hinge first because it's easier to hold the cabinet door when the bottom hinge is there because then instead of, then the weight is sort of resting with the top hinge Whereas if you were to remove the top hinge first, the weight would be kind of pulling down away from this bottom hinge. So I always like to remove the bottom hinge first. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just pull the bottom hinge out and then do the same thing with the top hinge. Just like that. That's literally how to remove a cabinet door fast and easy, it's completely off. You wanna put it back in place, same thing. Get the top hinge, line it up, okay? Then you're gonna click it in place. So it's kind of difficult for me to do without a stool, but we're gonna try anyways. I'll start with the bottom hinge, it'll probably make it a little bit easier to do. So I'm going to line the bottom hinge up just like that. Okay, give me a moment here. There we go. And click it in place. Like I said, I should have probably brought a stool, but uh, I'm going to do my best anyway. So we're going to get the bottom hinge right here and we're going to try and click it in place. There we go. And the top hinge as well, click it in place. The bottom one didn't click in yet, but the top one did. There we go. We're good to go. Back in place. So obviously if you're dealing with an upper cabinet like I did right here, then obviously get a stool because you'll save yourself the trouble that I just experienced. But that's it, that's how to remove cabinet doors fast and easy. Find the lever or the button that you have to deal with that allows you to take it out and then to put it back in, usually you just give it a press in place. Sorry about that. There we go, that's better. If you like this video, I missed it again. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.